Blooms. How are you guys doing? Ah. Uh, today's video, we're going to be checking out Beanie's Q&A with uh, Beanie episodes 1, 2, and 3. I'm super excited to check these out. Um, I always love Beanie interviews. I think they're just so much fun. And, uh, you know. But also, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much from my whole heart, right? All of that. Um, without you guys, man, I a dream came true. And uh, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for you guys. I really am. And I'm super excited. As much. So, I know today's Monday. But. Y'all know what this weekend is, right? Yo, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. So, uh, yeah, I think we are going to do the whole Discord thing. Uh, I'm going to stream it in Discord. And for those of you guys that want to watch the, the concert, jump in. It'll be in there. Um, so, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this uh, Q&A. Super excited. I can't wait to see the craziness that that comes from this and uh yeah you know most importantly go show beanie all the love go show them nothing but love because they deserve it 100 percent all right but let's go ahead and jump right into it come along for the ride Mabuhay, we are oh, i love this little and today mm. we're going to be answering questions and tell you all about our latest single cherry on top and tell you a bit more Aww. about ourselves let's get right i love that i love the addition of stacy on the in my opinion, I don't think Cherry on Top is that different from all our other um, music videos because it still gives a very youthful vibe, a right. fun vibe to it. But I think I would say it's like a, an older sister of our Holy Trinity songs, aka Lagi Na 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 and I Feel Good. But it just has more flavor to it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Wait, but I like to add. <laughs> yeah. Good. But it just has more flavor to it. Yeah. Wait, but I'd like to add because. Mm. I think in this cherry on top MV, we had a lot of extras. Like we had a lot of people. True, true, true. For the very true. first time, mm, because true. in the past MVs, it would only be one in laggy. Yeah. Well, we are. Hold on, though. No. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. But I was gonna say in na na na, didn't they have a few people in that one too? But no, I like that. I like I like that. You know that. You know, Mika brought that up. For the very first time, mm. because in our past MVs, it would only be one in Lagi. Yeah. We are influenced by different styles from different countries, but when all combined, it creates a unique sound that distinctly Filipino. And we are very adaptive, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> and I think Filipino music is very. And we are very the little, I love the little smile yes. too. Like and I think Jonathan. Filipino music is very diverse. You can always listen to different mm -hmm. Filipino music genres, and we always try to incorporate different mm. culture, um, dialect, and languages here in the Philippines to the lyrics of our song. What is it like to work with big international music producers for Cherry on Top? Ooh. So Colette and I went to the writer's camp on behalf of Bini and really enjoy that time. And it's really impactful how we work with such amazing composers and amazing producers. And it's really amazing <laughs> how they how fast they their brain works and how fast they create melodies and instrumentals and how the composers write their lyrics. So so amazing. Yeah, personally I also enjoyed. I had fun. Yeah. I enjoyed. I had fun. Sorry, 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 sorry. 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 I I give up. Uh -huh. You had fun. You had fun. I had fun. I, I had fun. fun. I learned a lot at the writers camp. It it inspires me to be um better, to be more Okay, to be what? <laughs> <laughs> to be what? <laughs> I got more inspired okay. I know I still have a lot of learning. Oh, but you, you guys, you see, you see what I mean? Like, come on, man. Oh, my goodness. These are always so much fun. Them 
motivates me to to improve and to extend my views on songwriting. Okay. What are your goals as a group and how are you going to use your platform? Well, our goals as a group is um, be a household name in the Philippines. Um, okay. When you ask Amazing. your neighbor, do you know Beanie? Oh yeah, I love Beanie. That's, <laughs> that's our goal. When you ask your driver, do you know Beanie? We know that's, that's our goal. And one thing, Oh, also Coachella. You know, if you're gonna dream, dream big as you can. So Coachella! And we hope to continue to inspire people and uplift our listeners. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you right now, if Beanie performs at Coachella, the, it, it, they're set, it's gonna be on fire. It's gonna be on fire. I'm just saying right now, if Beanie performs at Coachella, it's going to, woo! Through our songs, through lyrics that that celebrate strength and presence. equality and now we've been seeing videos yeah. um, of uh, children elderly men and women dancing and singing to our song so i i think we are on the right track little by little we are contributing to a more inclusive yeah. and empowered world for all mm. yes yes, yes. <laughs> next episode okay beanie <laughs> Beanie. <laughs> That's active. It's always there. Using the characters or their stories. It's always there. Using the characters. Yeah, the nudge. The nudge. <laughs> oh no, this is going to be fun. Characters or their oh no! Me, I love to do creative makeup. I have nothing. Oh, we're on to episode two. Mabuhay. We are Vini. And today we're going to be answering questions and tell you all about our latest single, Cherry on Top. And tell you a bit more about ourselves. Let's get right to it. I think Ross Beanie we all have Yo, these are these have been some really good questions. I'm not even gonna lie, I've really enjoyed these questions. Right to it. I think Ross Beanie we all individually have different artists we look up and to. See, that's what I one like. Artists we have we all have in common is definitely Miss Sarah Ronimo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and also K-pop groups like Blackpink and Itzy, Red Velvet, Twice, Espa, yeah, they Itzy, Red Velvet, Twice, Espa, yeah, we we look up to them because they <laughs> show a different standard of performing and music. You know, and and Gwen, you would like to add? <laughs> I have nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to add. I have nothing to add. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Recently, I've been listening to fellow uh, uh, international artists. They are um, Taylor Swift, Sabrina Carpenter. I recently heard uh, the song um, Blue by Billie Eilish and what inspires me? Beanie! Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you! What inspires me? Beanie! Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> really? <laughs> For me, I listen to I listen a lot to um ano nga to? OPM <laughs> OPM artist um Miss Katy Tandingan. For me I listen to a lot of R and B like um Denise. Daniel Caesar and Denise Julia, she's from the Philippines. And I love I love listening to Ariana Grande. Mm. I'm into OPM in the music right now. I listen to the Lao, Zild, Seventh the knobs, the Ridleys, and I look up to Tori Kelly. Oh, I love Tori. Yes. Ah, hi. I love Tori. Yes. Yay. Ah, hi. I listen to the Ridleys in the band and Taylor Swift for international. How do you feel about Beanie's surge of popularity in Southeast Asia? Have been overwhelmed that we are getting popular in Southeast 
Asia and just recently we performed in Singapore and we didn't expect that kind of crowd. They were also noisy. <laughs> just like Beanie. Just like Beanie. Yeah. Noisy. Yeah. <laughs> just like Beanie. Yeah. Also cheering for us. So it was so happy to know Aww. that we have blooms even in other countries. So thank you so much. Aww. Yes, and for us Beanie, um, Or, and for us as individuals, I think we have always stood for being relatable, um, for being authentic and in inclusive. And by inclusive, we've always been open as well to other communities like um, the LGBTQ, the dance community. And we also hope that we get to tap into more communities in the future. What other creative outlets and interests do you all have? Ooh, this is going to be a good question. Um, for all me, the questions have been amazing, interests, but I love these I questions. Think besides learning Beanie dances, I like learning other choreographies. Okay. Um, for me, I like to do um, art, aka drawing. If not, I like to do something active like hiking, running, mm -hmm. and anything else that's active. I would say music yeah. will never, never leave my life, so... Just listening and singing, I feel like, mm -hmm. and dancing. Aww. It's always there. Yeah. Well, for me, I tend to <laughs> Get it the and dancing. It's always there. Yeah. <laughs> well, for me, I tend to... That's that, that's that, that's that nudge, like, okay, hurry up, I'm done. Like, you know, hurry up and start. Like, yo, that's that type of nudge right there. I'm read books, so Ooh, I write okay. songs using the characters or their stories or... Um, my personal experiences, other people's experiences, or maybe from songs, from other songs, yeah. Me, I love to do creative makeup, wow. but but I stop <laughs> because we're too busy. But uh, I hope I'll be able to do it. I hope you, you know, again soon. Yes, <laughs> yes. I have nothing. Join me. <laughs> yeah. Um, nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope I can fulfill my greatest dream. Um, what's that? Broadcaster. Ooh, Broadcaster, okay. reporter, anything in front of camera. Me, I like to make art, and I like to explore the world of sustainable fashion. Okay. okay. I like okay. to shift. I like to shift. Shift. Where did the name Beanie come from? So our group name Beanie came from the Tagalog word Beanie Beanie. It means young lady. And our Derek Lauren, the one who created this group and handpicked us, he really wanted us to be called Beanie because it represents modern Filipinas. And we want to be a good example to the youth and to empower women. We are very transparent to each other, <laughs> and as the year. Wait, lang ano ano? Naglo-loading talaga ako. You do this, <laughs> and as the year. Wait, lang ano ano? Naglo-loading talaga ako. You do this, get your thumb out and your pinky. Pinky, and then you shake it well. <laughs> then you <laughs> shake. Oh, eh, eh. I will mark you. Okay. Eh, <laughs> I will mark your room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. The ingredients are hard to find. Alright, we're on to episode three. Man, these have been wonderful. Oh, these have been so wonderful. Ah. Uh. We are Beanie. And today we're going to be answering I, questions I and tell you all about our latest single, Cherry on Top, and tell you a bit more about ourselves. Let's get right to it. What do you love most about your growing fan base and what do they represent to you? So Ooh. Blooms and Beanie has a very special relationship. Aww. We are very transparent to each other. Mm. <laughs> and as the years pass by, it's... It grew and it's growing every day. So we really appreciate them every day and how they show their love to us. Yeah, and I what we that. love about them is that they are very proactive. Wherein um, whatever we do, wherever we, we are, they're always up to date and they're always um, in tune with us. And yeah, that's 
another thing is that um, they also in, are very engaging and encouraging to not just to us but also to fellow blooms and we hope Facts. that they keep it that way Facts. and listen man again like i said all of you have been just so wonderful you know as someone who you know knows nothing who knew nothing and i still don't know a lot right and i'm learning i'm still trying to get everything down you know like i like during the documentary i didn't know what g's what what the meaning like you know when you when they were saying g and stuff like that and like it's just so it's so reassuring and comfortable and just like like i said i feel like i like like it's like a family like it's i'm home like i'm just talking to you know <clears throat> family members and having just a wonderful conversation or being i'm able to be myself you know and uh it's all because of you guys you guys are always so understanding so helpful so just you know amazing so i thank you guys so much i really do that make an environment healthy for everybody mm -hmm. you want to really go on a tour want to go on tour with maybe at the mai mai or miss sarah on the mall okay or ben and ben oh my god i love this or ben and ben, ben, and ben. ben, and ben. <laughs> oh my god because ben and ben you know having a live band and right. they're so amazing they just work so well together and we hope to work, work with them all soon <laughs> what are your hopes and dreams our for hopes your and dreams for careers? our careers okay. is just really to inspire people and to introduce filipino music to the entire world because i feel like k-pop is obviously rising and rising and rising internationally so we Max. also want to be there right. we want k-pop to be, to be known to the world and we want we want to spread love and inclusivity and we want to inspire oh see here we go again like i said like i said you guys you know oh i can't think of any <laughs> and we want to inspire i'm still favorite Philippine slang is you do this, get your thumb out and your pinky, pinky. <laughs> and then you shake it well and then you say it oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> What does that mean? Hey. It's, it's English yeah, When you're happy, yeah. when you're sad yeah. When you're happy, hey. when you're sad hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. When you're mad eh? like, <laughs> Example You're beautiful Eme, do you know Eme? Eme is also like it's also like Charot, but Eme is cousin. like it's a cousin of it's like the cousin. <laughs> what place in the Philippines would you like to <clears throat> talk about with your first time? Ooh, with first time visitors. Ooh, love this question. Like For recommendations, me, it's Bicol, right here. Of course, <laughs> I represent Vico. I Aww. will tell them to visit your house my little my <laughs> you yeah. yeah visit the beaches and the mayon volcano i think they have to try to uh, go to la union or Shargao to yeah. surf oh my god if you want Surfing to surf go there funny story i try to surf uh my brother it, he you know loves to surf right so he tried to teach me and uh we were out there and uh i ended up slicing my hand on uh the fin right and uh, of the surfboard because i fell off and it, i tried to grab it and it, you know and it, it ended up cutting my hand right and so i'm sitting there and i'm like washing it off in the water and da 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 da, da you know just like ah and uh he looks at me he goes and he goes hey do you know what all those boats are there for right and then, like i turned around and it was just a bunch of boats just like going across you know and I'm like, nah. And he goes, oh, it's because, uh, you know, there was a there was a shark warning this morning. Da, da, da. And I'm like, I yeah, that was that was the end of my uh, that was the end of my surfing experience. I was done. I was done. He was joking. But yeah, I was done, which is funny because I wanted to be a marine biologist when I was younger um, and I wanted to study like sharks. I love sharks. And uh, so, yeah. It was kind of, <laughs> yeah, just, you know. First thing you would celebrate. do once you reach outside world. The <laughs> world domination. Celebrate. celebrate. No. Outside outside the the <laughs>
Ano shopping? Mm. I will go with the Clubilda. Okay. Leave. I'm gonna give you um. <laughs> I go on a world I tour. Go with the Clubilda. Uh, I'm ice. gonna give you um luxury items I, one by I one. Will, I, will, I will mark your word. <laughs> <laughs> I will mark your word. Well, you you will buy it. I will buy it. Oh, you. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't you want to rest? <laughs> <laughs> Let's rest. Let's rest. <laughs> she, yo, Let's re yo, is like, oh, yo, you rest. Hello, resting, resting. Like, yo, we just, we just dominated the world. Like, yo, let's rest a little bit. Let's rest. <laughs> Her look. Let's rest after world domination. Yes. What are your favorite Filipino <laughs> dishes? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Ooh, all of those look amazing. Are those? I can't really tell. Hello, hello. Tell something that no one knows Me, about I'm, any big I have a um, uh, fact about Gwen. She doesn't huh? like to eat. Um, <laughs> uh, fact Gwen? about Gwen. She doesn't huh? like to eat um, chips alone. Because she believes that... It's more flavorful when you, <laughs> when, you, when, you when you when you share it with someone. Aww, right, Gwen? That's yes. so amazing. Yes. I love that. I'm sorry, open, I love that. Open open book to our no. You? Everybody no. knows that. They, they know everything about me. Guys, Ate Jo has another face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Um, I mean, Aya shivers when she hears jogging, hiking, hiking, hiking climbing. Whatever. She shivers. Floor climbing. Bouldering. <gasps> oh, no. Show and tell, no. Colette likes to send TikTok videos. Gwen, Gwen loves to sleep in this video. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I that's so true. My boy. I can attest to it. Yeah. Yeah. Nani was sleeping like this um, last night. <laughs> 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 <Bawal day. laughs> I love how it's just like pure chaos of them. Just like, yep, yep. Oh, no. Like this um, last night. <laughs> <laughs> Day. <laughs> Every other day. Oh yes! <laughs> and that oh, is it guys. Okay. Thank oh, you wait. so much for watching. We hope you guys love it. Oh, uh, these were fun. These were fun. No, these were fun, yo. Uh, again, some of my most fondest and favoritest things to to watch are like beanie uh like interviews, beanie just beanie being beanie, you know? Like <laughs> Oh, it's so much fun. It's it's definitely definitely such a highlight and again, that's one of the reasons why I became so, you know, is because of just their pure chaos. And that's what I'm here for. But all right, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Again, remember go show Beanie all the love. Show them nothing but love. They deserve it 100%. And again, man, I thank every single one of you guys so much. Like, you guys are so wonderful, and I love you guys. I really do. But please, have a wonderful rest of your day. Again, it, I know it's Monday, but we all know what's this weekend. For those of you traveling to the concert, and, you know, please be safe. Drink plenty of water, okay? And, uh, yeah. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your night, evening, afternoon, wherever you're located, morning as well. Y'all take it easy. I love you. Peace.